Hey guys, this is Pete Hink. I'm back out here on Indian River Lagoon. I was checking out a spot in the uh, southern part of Bavard County, an area where I saw a lot of manatees feeding. They were grazing on grass and um, almost about a dozen manatees. So I wanted to see what kind of impact it had on the seagrass. And I'm um, happy to say two weeks later, there's still plenty of seagrass left. So this, these uh, theories that come up that the manatees ate all the seagrass, well, now it's not quite true. So I'm gonna set a few things straight on manatees because there's a lot of misperceptions out there about manatees. First of all, manatees are native. The Florida manatee is a subspecies of the West Indies manatees. It's been here for thousands upon thousands of years, long before Christopher Columbus ever even thought about coming over here. And um, so it is native. Another thing about the manatees is that they're actually going to help restore seagrass in the lagoon. So I'm gonna explain that in a minute and how that, that, that happens. Now, a few years ago, we had a massive die off of seagrass. We had brown algae, we had coal fronts, we had uh, you know, sewer leaks. We had a lot of different factors playing into it and uh, herbicides flowing in from the canals and it really decimated the seagrass all up and down the Indian River Lagoon. Huge, huge body of water. Now, people saw what little seagrass was left getting eaten by manatees. And everyone came to this conclusion that, hey, the manatees, they ate all the seagrass. No, basically Mother Nature and mostly us. Look in the mirror if you want someone to blame for the seagrass losses. The manatees were just trying to survive on what little was left, okay? So it wasn't like they decimated it. it that's just, just not true. So how does manatees help the Inner River Lagoon? Well, as of now, I'm seeing in, in Bavard County and also in Inner River County, uh, seagrass popping up everywhere. I mean, it's, it's on this little flat that I'm here now, and uh, it's thin, but it's filling in more and more and more. And um, as these grasses grow, they get to a certain point where they seed. When the manatees eat this, they actually eat the grass. The seeds they hold, they actually poop out in their poop and they can start new colonies as they swim around and they poop out these seeds. It actually starts on a little fertile mat of seagrass and starts new colonies of it. We saw that evidence of that um, over in uh, Crystal River when they had a seagrass project started, a very successful seagrass uh, project about eight years ago. Started off as a two acre project, um, then it, it ended up being three to 400 acres of seagrass. And that wasn't from them planting seagrass. A lot of it, they said, was from the manatees eating the, the uh, seagrass and spreading the seeds. So manatees are going to be a key factor in the revival of the Indian River Lagoon. It's, they are an important part. They're not a nuisance. And uh, that's just not so. So anyway, I'd like to hear you guys' feedback on what you think. And uh, good or bad, if you agree, if you disagree, i like to hear it. So uh, anyway, and also please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get more videos out here. I'm trying to show actually what's going on. Put these cameras underwater so you guys can see what is going on. So I'm uh, hopeful if we don't get a big hurricane and we don't have a lot of rain discharge, from inland that the uh, we're gonna have a, a good year for seagrass. But this is Pete Hink, till next time, and we'll see you.